human brain is an incredible supercomputer. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're like a, it, it, it has 100 trillion parameters. Mm -hmm. Or like a, if you try to count various quantities in the brain, there are like a neuron synapses. There are a small number of neurons. There is a lot of synapses. Yeah. Uh, it's unclear even how to map uh, synapses to uh, to parameters of neural networks, mm -hmm. but it's clear that there are many more. Yeah. Uh, so it might be the case that our networks are still somewhat small. Mm -hmm. uh, it also might be the case that they are more efficient than brain or less efficient by some by some huge factor. Uh, I also believe that there will be like a, you know at the moment we are at the stage that the these neural networks, they require 1000x or, or like a huge factor of more data than humans do. And it will be a matter of, uh, uh, th there will be algorithms that vastly decrease sample complexity. I believe so. Mm -hmm. But the place where we are heading today is there are domains which contains million x more uh, data. And even though computers might be 1000 times slower than humans in learning, that's not the problem. Like, uh, mm -hmm. For instance, uh, I believe that uh, it should be possible to create superhuman therapies mm -hmm. uh, by a, and and the, the, the like a, even simple steps of of, of doing what of, of doing it. And you know the the core reason is there is just machine will be able to read way more transcripts of therapies, and then it should be able to speak simultaneously with many more people, and it should yeah. be possible to optimize it uh, all in parallel. And, uh, well, there's now you're touching on something I deeply care about and think is way harder than we imagine. Um, what's the goal of a therapist? What's the goal of therapist? Hmm. So, okay, so one goal, now this is terrifying to me, but there's a lot of people that uh, contemplate suicide, suffer from depression, uh, and they could significantly be helped with therapy. And the idea that an AI algorithm might be in charge of that. It's like a life and death task. <laughs> it's uh, the stakes are high. So one goal for a, a therapist, whether human or AI, is to prevent suicide ideation, to prevent suicide. How do you achieve that? So let's see. So to be clear, I, I don't think that the current models are good enough for yeah. such a task because it requires insane amount of understanding, empathy, and the models are far from this place, but it's... But do you think that understanding empathy, that signal is in the data? Um, I think there is some signal in the data, yes. I mean, there are plenty of transcripts of conversations and it is possible to, it is possible from it to understand personalities. It is possible from it to understand uh, if conversation is uh, friendly, uh, amicable, uh, uh, antagonistic. It is. I believe that the you know, given the fact that the models that we train now, they can, uh, th they can have, they are chameleons that they can have any personality. Mm -hmm. They might turn out to be better in understanding uh, personality of other people than anyone else. And they be should, empathetic. <laughs> to be empathetic. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, but. I wonder if there's some level of uh, multiple modalities required to be able to um, be empathetic of the human experience, whether language is not enough to understand death, to understand fear, to understand uh, childhood trauma, to understand uh, wit and humor required when you're dancing with a person who might be depressed or suffering both humor and hope and love and all those kinds of things. So there's another underlying question, which is self-supervised versus supervised. So can you get that from the data by just reading a huge number of transcripts? I actually, so I think that reading a huge number of transcripts is a step one. It's like the same way as you cannot learn to dance if just from YouTube by watching it you have to actually try it out yourself. Yeah. Uh, so I think that here, that's a similar situation. I also wouldn't deploy the system in the high stakes situations right away, yeah. but kind of see gradually where it, uh, it goes. And uh, obviously initially uh, it would have to go hand, with, uh, hand in hand with humans. But uh, 
at the moment we are in the situation that actually there is many more people who actually would like to have a therapy or or speak with with someone than there are therapies out there like I, you know i was so so fundamentally i was thinking what are the things that uh, can vastly increase people's well-being mm-hmm. therapy is one of them i think meditation is other one i guess maybe human connection is a third one and i guess pharmacologically it's also possible maybe direct brain stimulation or something like that but these are pretty much options out there then let's say the way i'm thinking about the agi endeavor is by default that's an endeavor to uh, increase amount of wealth and i believe that we can vastly increase amount of wealth uh, for everyone and simultaneously so i mean these are like a two endeavors that make sense to me mm-hmm. one is like essentially increase amount of wealth and second one is uh, increase overall human well-being and those are coupled together and they they can like a, i would say these are different topics one can help another 